Hello, and welcome to Understanding the Grid View in Scratch Junior with me, Miss Green at Hoyas and Ed. Let's begin by selecting a character once we access our Scratch Junior application on your iPad device. Here, I'm going to go into the paint editor and just change around the crab character and make him a little blue for the purposes of our tutorial today. You'll see the blue crab on the stage, and I'm just going to move him down here to the bottom left corner. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the interface, I'm going to link in the description above to a video about the whole Scratch Junior interface. Now, I'm going to be moving around the crab on what we call the coordinates. So the X right here that goes across and the Y that goes above and below. So Y for how high and X for the cross. This is where we're going to use our mathematical computation skills to create script code using our motion blocks palette. Now, since I want my crab to interact with another crab, I'm going to add a different character from the Scratch Junior Sprites Gallery. I do that by pressing over here on the left hand side, the blue circle with the white plus sign. And I'm going to scroll down in the gallery and I'm going to find a red crab. Once I select the red crab, notice that Scratch Junior always places that sprite in the center of the grid. And it's up to you just to drag and drop where you want that particular sprite to start off with. Now look closely at the red crab. Do you see the blue square in its center? That square is going to show you how to move along the grid and calculate correctly how many spaces you want the red crab to move along your X axis. It's the same thing when you want a character to move up or down on the Y axis. So I'm going to select the parameter there and I'm just going to touch into that little blue motion block how many spaces I want my red crab to go. Now you're going to notice that down here in the blocks palette I have the collision block already set up because I want the two sprites to touch each other and do something. So there are two things that I want you to notice here. On the left hand side, you want to make sure that the correct sprite character is being programmed. How can you tell? By going over here and seeing which one is highlighted. Then now that you've calculated how many motion blocks to the right does the blue crab go? What are we going to do with the collision? Let's go first to the red crab and see what we want the action to be when the red crab gets to the blue crab. And here I'm going to pull down from the purple looks blocks a little, you know, bubble statement that says, why so blue? So this means that's going to pop up on the stage as a little speech bubble when they touch. Ah, do you notice what's happening here? We have a little bug. The bug means that we need to change something in our code because every time the two are touching, well, if they're still touching, the code is going to keep running that script. So let's see if this solves it. Does it? No. Are they still touching? Yes. So the script will run the code again until the two sprites are no longer touching. So I encourage you to continue to practice your scripts and coding within Scratch Junior. Add another character, test out your code, use the different motion blocks on the X and Y axes, and maybe you want to come over here and use the different turns and jumps as well. I'm going to add another crab and continue to code here. And then once I'm satisfied with how they're moving around my stage using the grid view, that's when I'm going to ultimately select up here a background that's appropriate for the actions to which I've already programmed in the programming area. Once you've completed all of your different motions and movements and looks, just have fun with your programming through Scratch Junior. Again, I'll have a separate video about the blocks palettes and what you can do with each of those.
Until then, thanks for watching and taking this tutorial with me, Miss Green at Hoyas and Ed.